shifted back through time and space to the to the moments of those episodes. Oh yeah, you you were, weren't you? Absolutely, yeah. yes. So when the titles came up and there was Pat's face and the music came on, etc., whatever, I mean, oh my goodness, it's forty five years ago since I've seen this episode, <laughs> and it was quite emotional actually. But I pulled myself together and I enjoyed every minute of it. But I did know what I was going to say next. Isn't that weird? After forty five years. And, and I was just watching it, I think, and after about five minutes, I thought, wait a minute, the last time I saw this story was when it went out live on BBC television 45 years ago. And I thought, oh, Fraser, <coughs> sit up a bit. You know, I was just taking it so <laughs> blasé in, you know, in my stride. So that's probably the, only the second time you've actually seen it then. Yeah, 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 yeah second yeah. time, yeah. Only second time. Mm -hmm. and, and Deborah, you mentioned earlier in the press conference how wonderful it was to see your father, uh, Jack, uh, in the Web of Fear uh, again. Yes, he walked on set. And I went, Good grief, it's Daddy playing Professor Travers. Now, I'd forgotten he was in that episode. Uh, no, no, yeah, it, it was... No, I'd forgotten that. Great man, but lovely was, man. He was really good as well. Yeah, he was really good, and... Because Jack's always had, a, always had a younger face, so he had to be made up to look old, you know. Oh, yes, he did. But uh, and him and I ganged up on you a couple of times as well. <laughs> yes, you did. Daddy, you're supposed you... to be on my side. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Fraser, it must have been uh, rather good to see how well you uh, wore a kilt as well after after these years. Uh, yeah, yes, well, the people say that it had a cult following. I said, no, it had a kilt following. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> um, are, are you ready for the um, the exposure and the and the millions? What in my kilt? No, certainly not. But the uh, the legions of fan across uh, across the world, the entire world of Whovians, mm. they're going to be coming. It's going to be a massive approbation. They're going to love it, aren't they? Uh, they will. Yeah. Um, we, we do conventions, and it's lovely to see young kids come up to us and say. We weren't alive when you did it, but they love the black and white. Colour is kind of natural. E Colours every day, black and white. Black and white. It draws them in. It's, and it's atmospheric scary. as well. Yes, and it's yeah. scary. And it, it, I think it's brilliant, you know. Okay, as you say, colour. I always find it slightly plastic, but that's my opinion. But the Web of Fear in black and white, the, the underground station, that was really scary. I'd love to see it in colour because I don't think it would be so scary. Shadows no, are better be so in black and white. Shadows yeah. are better. Much That's better. Almost, noir films almost. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so can, can you tell us a little bit about the circumstances about when you were told a new episode had been discovered? Well, I, I thought, no, this is ridiculous. I mean, there's been so many rumours over the years that episodes of mine will be discovered. There's only one storyline of mine left, complete, and that is uh, Tomb of the Cybermen. Mm. So I think, no, it's all a hoax, no, forget it. They always say this. And then I started to wonder, and I thought, hang on, there might be something here. Then people started to ring me up. I'm thinking, what? <laughs> it could be right. And then somebody quite high up with a be rang me, and I went, I don't believe it. I went, yes! That was it. I didn't know at all. Deb's rang me and said, Oh, am I going to see you next Tuesday? I went, well, What do you mean? What about your husband? No, no, I'm going to see you next. Where? <laughs> she said, In London. I went, In London? Which hotel? Which hotel? You know, I'm getting all excited. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, No, they, and I didn't know anything about it. I said, Well, no, nobody's booked me. So it was late notice then, really? Yeah. yeah I, I know. Oh, he, said, he said, What's it about? And I said, I can't tell you. She said, I can't tell you. I, I can't tell give, you. I had to give her a Chinese burn to get the <laughs> truth out of her. <laughs> <laughs> and you also mentioned in the press conference that there were, there were some episodes that you were particularly hoping might be discovered in the future. Yeah. Evil of the Dalek, which was Deb's first one, because we had a great cast. We had Joe Rowbottom, um, Bridget Forsyth, Windsor Davis, and also You Look So Great in That Crinoline. Thank you, Fraser, very much. Mm. Mine? <laughs> he doesn't change, does he? Anyway, my favourite story I was the last one, uh, Fury from the Deep. That was my last story. The reason why I liked it, because I, I liked the monster. It was a seaweed monster. And you didn't see it with the first four episodes, but you knew when it was getting closer to you, because it had this sort of heartbeat. And you went, and as it got closer, it got louder. It was, da dong da dong da dong da dong I went, that was the monster. But um, <clears throat> I challenged him. And I destroyed him and with how my did you scream. Him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My scream, my yeah. scream. He retracted back into the sea. And from that day on, I was always known as Leather Lungs. But that'd be a sad it. story for me because that was your last story. That's, yeah. That'd be sad for me to we see. We had that. a lovely scene together, though, Fraser. We did, yeah. Yeah, saying goodbye. <laughs> 